<laughs> Annoying, isn't it? What's up, everybody? C Spray is here. Gonna do a uh, Transformers Happy Meal McDonald's toy. This is Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. He is number three in the series. There's six to collect. I already reviewed Blackout, Megatron, Starscream, and now Bumblebee. I still need Ironhide and Optimus Prime. So if you can find those, you still pick those up for me, send them my way, and I'll reimburse you. Thanks a lot. Okay, cool. So onto the review. We just see here. Um, I think you could play online, if I'm not mistaken, as you can see. But uh, I haven't checked on that yet. But uh, mm, since I know it now, I didn't realize until this review. But uh, I'll take a look at it and see what's going on. So here we have Bumblebee, comes in, with, in your Happy Meal that you can get at McDonald's for kids. And uh, you get a little thing there, blah blah blah. Okay, so let's just open the B up and take a look at him in further detail. Alright, all are opened. Okay guys, I'm back. Took the B out of the package and um, I'm not really digging it too much. He looks okay. Um, doesn't look too bad, but I do appreciate something about this, which I'll show you in a second. But as you can see, cool little bumblebee figure, and of course he comes with this little thing that shows his features, and it's just a firing projectile, which I already put in there. But I will show you that after. And uh, just, I'll get this out of the way now, because it's pretty cool. This is what I like about it. Nice audible insignia, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty good detailing and paint apps on this guy. It's probably one of the better ones, I think, compared to uh, Megatron. Megatron's pretty cool. And I yet to find Optimus and Ironhide, so I can't determine those ones. But uh, looking at the figure, we can see here that uh, the head sculpt is mm, pretty decent actually, not too bad. And uh, as you can see, it also has the light piping, which you can see here, shiny, shiny, looking pretty cool. And uh, face sculpt's not too bad, you know. Does looks kind of like a female version of him, kind of in the face region anyway. But the, I really like the eyes; they're pretty, they're pretty uh, hypnotic. They're pretty cool. And uh, leading down into the chest and uh, ab area, you can see nice detailing. You can see the pinstripes on the car. Uh, not pinstripes, but the racing stripes. And the great uh, chest area and the stomach. And of course on the back, you can see the wings and the doors, whatever. So he's pretty much all yellow, gray, has some darker gray, black. And pretty pretty decent to rotate 360. Well, one can, this one can't. And he can rotate at the, uh, the mid-region, but that's for to turn him like this or shoot at you. But the uh, head doesn't turn. I kind of wish the head would turn, but it doesn't. And that's about it. De nice detailing on the legs. Looks pretty cool. Alright, feature. He does have this uh, shooting feature. And all you want to do... Okay, so you just put it in here. Pop it in there. And then just take this piece here and kind of pull it out. Kind of like a pinball machine. Mmm. Out of all the features of all the toys, I say this guy isn't the best. Out of a five, I would say it's a maybe a three. Okay guys, I think that's it. Thanks for watching my review on McDonald's Revenge of the Fallen 2010 Bumblebee. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.